Hi everyone. I have a quick flip through today for you of my first Christmas journal of the season. This is a custom order um, and it is going off to its new home tomorrow. So I did just want to share it with you. The request was for a journal similar to one I made last year using my October afternoon papers. And sadly, I have used up almost all of my October afternoon Christmas papers um, this year. So I have a little bit left and I was going to do some journals uh, for my Etsy shop with it. But I think I'm, I'm actually going to save those papers and use them in my own December journal this year. Anyway, let me start uh, with this quick flip through for you. I have tied it just with a little bit of... Um, narrow gingham ribbon here uh, and on Christmas journals or this particular one I decided I would do eyelet closure um, because it is fairly thick um, there's four signatures and a folder in the middle uh, it is fairly flat but I think this will get uh, quite full so I did want to make sure that I had a closure that wasn't going to um, tear any of the papers and so on. I have uh, added some fabric to the spine here, one of my favorite fabrics, and just add a little bit of rickrack trim and a little book plate here. So going inside, I have, let me just make sure I'm still in frame here for you, yes. I have just added a variety of tags that I've made. Um, lots of trims here. Some of these are printable papers that went well with the October afternoon papers. These are some vintage um, gift tags that I got from Katie Doucette's shop, the paper basket. She's on Etsy. And this cute snowman printable. And of course, lots of tabs and things hanging off the side here, but also lots of space still to journal, to add photos. I've used um, washi tape throughout, and this can be easily removed uh, if its new owner does not want that. And I've got a number of uh, images here, some tags that I've made, um, but these images are from, some are from P Pinterest, um, but I've got a lot here that are from Molly's Mantle, also on Etsy, and I'm going to link um, Liz's shop below. little tag that I've made, a uh, little um, bell and some beads on a garment pin on that tab, and some of the cutter parts from the October Afternoon paper pack. This is from Molly's Mantle. A little guest check there. I love using those to document, you know, special dinners or um, lunches and so on throughout the season. A little top tuck spot there. Tag that I've made. This is an envelope with a little um, vintage recipe card in that. And pom pom trim. And just a few images here. And I've used some vintage um, handwriting paper, and that came from the paper basket on Etsy. And some vintage wrapping paper here that I've used. Um, that's from Molly's Mantle. I love that image. That would be great um, on the cover of a journal. Um, I've added a Cavallini paper bag here, and I don't have anything in that. Um, little. Um, sale price tag from A Tattered Dream on Etsy. And just a couple. These are actually from Michael's from this year, those tags. And then I just made another matching tag. I've left this intentionally blank for the middle of the signature and its new owner can add photos there or maybe add some pockets. And a tag and another vintage image there. I've added lots of tabs. I've used some of the um, names of the papers uh, I've cut up uh, and used on the tabs, much as I did last year. Made a tag here. This is open at the back to add something to. This image is from Molly's Mantle. And a couple of 
other images here. And another bag with a tag. I've tried to add lots of buttons, lots of rickrack trim. So this is the center. Um, this is the folder in the center, and I've made this large tag. This is a cut apart from the paper. Just a printable and another tag I've made, and this is from GT Designs. That's a printable. Um, that's a vintage 1961 December calendar page. On the back of the folder, I've got just a little waterfall here that will take lots of pictures. Um, so that would take um, eight, uh, two, four, six, eight pictures, nine pictures here. Um, and she can add some journaling there. This is uh, just a little tuck spot on the front there. And another cute Christmas image. I've tried to add lots of trim uh, just to make it interesting. And then I've got these cute um, journaling pages here uh, in this bag for some extra room. This vintage ledger is from the paper basket as well. I love this. It's got kind of a yellowy, creamy um, uh, tint to it and it's just really beautiful, nice weight, um, great, great space for journaling. Uh, in this envelope, I've just got this little tag that I've added some, like a little top or two. Plain on the back um, for photo. Another top tuck spot here with an image. More of that vintage book page. Little tag that I've made here. And this says, let your heart be light. Uh, the other part of that envelope, and I've just got... A little tuck there and this Dear Santa paper and on the back I've added some Christmas list paper there. Another image from Molly's Mantle on Etsy. Again a beautiful image that would be great um, uh, for the cover of your December journal this year. Another Molly Ma Molly's Mantle image uh, and just a couple of tags that I've made there. And in this paper bag, another cut apart the tab there. And this is a flip up, so um, lots of spots for pictures there, and then just a large tag that I've made. Another Molly's mantle image. I told you I had lots of uh, images from uh, her shop in here. Um, but definitely, if you like retro Christmas images, you really need to go and check out Molly's mantle on Etsy. She's got a ton of great, great images for you. Uh, I've just clipped a little uh, photo overlay there. And a bingo card. And just a little tag I've made, and that's another cut apart from the paper collection and this is a top tuck spot and on the back I have clipped um, using a Tim Holtz paper um, clip that I've just painted in red I've got uh, one of these payroll envelopes from a tattered dream that I've just added some of the the cover fabric to and added a large tag um, Molly's mantle <laughs> and another cut apart from the collection and just again some blank space there for journaling another cute image there and a couple of other things to add to the journal and then uh, into all a good night on, on that side at the end of the journal so that is this Christmas journal that's going off to its new home uh, tomorrow I do have a couple of other things I'm going to be adding to it that I want to be a little surprise um, so I won't show you that but um, thanks for joining me today and I am going to have some more Christmas things coming up uh, in the next couple of weeks thanks everyone